we move on to the question number two. This is to solve exponential equations in one variable. Now you have been given problems where you need to write exponential function with a graph that passes through the given points. Now look carefully to the points. What's given exactly? It's 0, 3, 375, 3 and 375. Same thing over here. There is zero point. And then there are other three points. Okay, I mean other three values. There are two points. And if I go to the next problems and the next, you will always see there is zero, x as zero, and then some value of y. Now, do you recall what exactly is the exponential um, you know, equation? If you remember, it is y equals a b to the power x, right? Here, a is you know a constant now you need to have all these only then like not sorry not all this you need to have the value of a and b and then you can write an equation say it will be y is equal to 2 times 3 power x now here this is more than one so it's a growth function um, this would be 3 power x this will be considered this is a growth function this is an exponential function now here say I, i'm just writing random equations say over here 4 into 0 0.5 to the power x. Now, this is a decay function. The One of the main reasons for writing this is, in the last problem, the first question, we were finding out growth and decay. Now, if you have an example like this, look where is the power x. It's only to 0 0.5. So you see that 0 0.5 is less than 1, so this is a decay. If it was more than 1, only then, don't think, 4 multiplied by 0 0.5 is 2. No, it won't work like that. It's only this part you ought to see, whichever it is, power 2x. Now, coming back to this type of problem, how can we find a and b? How do we do that? So, we need to use both these points. We have this equation y equals a to the power bx. So, in the step 1, you must always, first time, you must always use the first, the point which is having 0. If this was given first and then 0, 0,3, then use the point which is having 0. That is most important. Sorry. Okay. And then now we can see this as x and y. The step 1, substitute the y value. It's 3. That is equal to what is a value? A value unknown. What is b value? Unknown again. Sorry. This value 0 is x. So type over here 0. Now, what is anything raised to the power 0? Think for a while. Think, understand, and then uh, try to say the answer in your mind or loud. If you have guessed the answer is 1, this is correct. It's not 0. It's not infinity. It's not anything else. It's always 1. Anything to the power 0 is 1. Um, so over here, it will be 3 equals a to the a multiplied by b to the power 0 is 1 because any number you can just do it in the calculator i'll just do it right now just take any number and raise it to the power 0 it's gonna be 1 say any number okay any or negative uh, even if you take a negative number say i will just use the bracket minus 156 to the power 0 it will just be 1 will be positive itself will be 1 so this is very important to understand now then, what happens is, I have found the a value, 3 equals a. Now, in this equation, a is found out, but what about this b value? So, I know a is found out over here, is 3. What about the b? So, to find b, you need to use this equation again. In the second point, don't use the first point again, because what happens, b will become 1. You can't solve it further. Now, once you have done the a value, use the second equation, second point, x, y, and use the same equation again. But this time, when you substitute y, it's 375, not the first point, this one. And then x is 3. But what is a value? You just now found out, substituted, multiplied by b to the power, x is 3. So if you had substitute 3 in the first place here, there are two unknowns. You cannot solve them. But it is 0, right? So you can solve this. You'll find A. And then second time, again, this is the second step. Okay, Again, you're doing with the second one. The first point, second point. Now, 
since this is the topic number two, use your calculator. You can take this to the other side, take cube root, yes, but directly, uh, I would suggest just use the calculator directly. It'd be 375 equals 3 multiplied by b to the power 3, shift and solve. What would be the answer? It is 5. Sometimes it takes a while, but you will get the answer, okay? If you're not getting the answer, clear your calculator, pressing shift 9 equal AC. Sorry, shift 9, 3 equal and AC. You can clear your calculator, but then do directly, saves a lot of time. Now let me write what is B. I'll directly write B equals 5. Now I found the A value, B value, substitute in this equation. The answer would be Y equals, what is A? 3 multiplied with B is 5 to the power X. This is a growth function. The X is only to 5. Don't think you can multiply 3 and 5. No, 15 to the power X is wrong. Why? Because only 5 is raised to the power X. And this is a variable, so you cannot simplify this. That would be the answer. It's very straightforward. I would highly encourage you to do this by yourself. But anyways, I'll do it now here. And then you can check it out. So let me quickly do it. The first part over here. For the step 1, x, y. Use the equation y equals a, b, x. Now y is negative 1. That is equal to what is a unknown. b is basically raised to the power 0. And a value equals negative 1. Since this is a, uh, you know, MCQ, you have to just take the, take the answer. What I would personally suggest is, looking at the first point, directly take A equals the Y value of uh, opposite to 0, next to 0. That is the A value, no matter what. So it doesn't matter what. B is nullified. So basically, you will have A equals to this value. So you do not even need to do that step. Directly, I can take A equals over here, minus 1. Then just do it once y equals a b to the power x because you do not need to write the steps for the first point. If it was writing, yes, that's required, but here not required. Just use this second part. Minus 64 equals, what is a value? It's minus 1 multiplied with b to the power 6. Now put this directly in the calculator. Use the bracket. Uh, I mean, you can avoid brackets, but I just like to use it. When, when, sorry, I don't use it when there's no negative sign. When there's negative sign, it's better to use the brackets because sometimes that might cause an error uh, and you may not get the answer. So you can't use B, so you should use alpha x to the power 6, shift and solve. This is not the answer. Press equal to. It'll take some time. And now you've got the answer. It's 2. So here the equation would be y equals a is negative 1 into 2 to the power x okay that's the equation you can just see now minus 1 is just minus you can keep it as just a minus sign because it's 1 right you can remove that one just keep the minus sign see let's see over here what's written no 1 is mentioned better keep it you know see over here it's written as minus 1 into 2 to the power x because you know uh, you can write even minus that's fine you know no need of writing 1 but it's better to write it the first one, look here, 3 is the A value and the next point is required to find the B value and solve it. Same thing, please do this by yourselves. I will just do this one more quickly, then the remaining are just for you. I'll just run through them. Now here, what you do first, look at this. Ah, 0, next to it is 7, so that is my A value. The equation is given by y equals A, B to the power X, so what do you do? It's y is 28, a is what? 7, b to the power negative 2. And now just put it in the calculator over here. It's 28 equals 7 multiplied with alpha x to the power negative 2. Shift and solve. The answer is, take some time, 0.5 or half. So that is the answer. So 7 is over here. B is half. So write the equation. That is 7. This A value multiplied by whatever answer you get. 0 0.5 or half to the power x. That's it. So remember half is 0 0.5. So that's the 
So that's it guys. Please make sure you look into the other problems as well. A value is given over here. Use this to find the B value. Write it. So you do not need to do this because this is in detail. I have uh, tried my best to, you know, show all the solutions for each and every questions in the Heikel. But this, the shortcut method doesn't require the first part because it's an MCQ. Just use this directly and then find the B value and solve it up. Uh, I think so all are straightforward. I'll just skim through all these problems. It's half and over here you need to find it using the same formula. It's 9 to the power x. Remember when you're writing the equation, you don't write x and y. x and y. See y as it is just like alphabets. x as it is. Only a and b must be written. Okay. See over here a value is 15. b is found from here. Same thing goes over here. You should have 0, comma, uh, another point. Otherwise you cannot find a value. Now, if you're thinking, uh, sorry, if you're thinking that what, what I was trying to say is, what if you don't get the zero, then you cannot solve this because you cannot solve for a value, right? You need to have this zero and a value over here, okay? So that's the thing. And you also cannot have zero and zero. Don't think, okay, what if I get zero and zero? It's not possible. If you have zero over here, this wouldn't make sense, right? It would be a zero. That's it. Why is zero? So all the problems you will, sorry, look at this, minus 6 and this. Here, A value is 1 by 3. And for the B value, we need to use these two points and easily solve it directly in calculator, which will save time. So these are the answers. You can see all the problems have 0 and a point. And the last problem is over here. This is the last problem. They are very straightforward, nothing else. You can see through this. Um, Please try them by yourselves and the presentation is available in the description below. And if you want only the questions, say for example, you want to print out the presentation only for the questions and try to solve it by yourself, that is also available in the link below in that uh, group. It's already posted. So please try to, uh, you know, go through that as well. So that's it. Do practice more problems, understand the concept thoroughly and the first 15 questions are an MCQ. So directly solve them without any methods, it's fine. If you use shortcuts, it's fine. So, but remember the exact method. See you in the next video.